Uh, you know, the board of ministry going to appoint a committee to go into investigation. Yeah, it is not suitable. Then, uh, in the same time, it has said that uh, inquiry should be done in a secret place. Right? The third one is that report should be submitted to the chief minister, only to the chief minister. And he will take actions according to that. Then those things are not, uh, I think, uh, good. In the same time, uh, the committee in which he was appointed, not a legal party. And he has the right to appoint a committee, it is okay. Uh, it is not a legal one. A legal committee should be appointed by uh, someone else. You know the law and you know the constitutional uh, things. The other one is. Now, anyway, the submit as a report, uh, then I could take one copy of that. Then out of that, he has said uh, uh, there's no such arrangements in the constitution or in the IS. Now, the government officer can go on compass and live in their charges. For the political leaders and the ministers, there is no provision to send them on compass and leave. Even they go leave, they are the ministers. You can take leave for your uh, any matter, but you are the minister. Nobody can be appointed on behalf of them. The other thing is there. And uh, at the same time, he has no authority to do so. To send you on compulsory, he has no authority at all to, uh, to send him on compulsory. These things are there. So, then uh, as you say, now I have received the evidence of the... But uh, in this letter, you didn't mention what are the reasons for your no confidence motion. There is a no confidence motion is there. Then I am also a chief minister who face no confidence motions <laughs> in my life. But uh, in, in those uh, motions, they have mentioned the reasons for that. Mentioned the reasons for that. Then uh, better if you can send me some reasons for all these things. Then uh, that is also better. Yeah. And you can send me a copy of the reasons for your no confidence motion. Then uh, I will have to act according to the constitution and according to the rules and regulations in your in your council also. We have to take. Then I will act on this according. Okay. <coughs> We want because like that. But he has very clearly indicated to me that he doesn't want, he doesn't do it, but he has a, doesn't agree with his action against the poor reason. He very clearly has told me. And if that is true, of course, we may have to go even to all the ministers, maybe including as well, so you say. But this is where our agreements as a master. Then the party leader has indicated to him that uh, you can't take the action with the four ministers. So two may be all right, but then the four is not correct. But contrary to that, only he had now, as you said, sent the two ministers in conference and had directed that the secretaries to report to him. And uh, all that is against the uh, advice of the party leader. This is where actually otherwise we would never have come uh, to your other uh, uh, But here he had been constantly defying the party. That is okay. But this has gone beyond tolerance. In fact, uh, he has unnecessarily put the two ministers into inconvenience and publicly disrespect. And again, 
In the second inquiry that we, they are forcing them both to face, they are already faced an inquiry yeah. which has exonerated them from the charges. Uh, uh, you know, we see that in the court. So this is why, I mean, we will send you a letter, yeah. but basically this is where our leadership has now felt very uncomfortable. But in spite of the legal thing, don't take action in the court. This is when we thought, uh, our well, leaders also thought, uh, we have to go for a democratic action. And the, all these things are to be settled within the party and within the council itself. And the, the board of ministers should decide and they have the, the collective responsibility for all these things. So they have to take. Uh, beyond that only if I can take action if they are they can't come to a, a conclusion and agreement. That the incumbent chief minister has lost the confidence of the members who have given the evidence. So it is like uh, it, it's kind of a reverse process. Uh, after the elections, we form our group and let our leader, group leader of, among the elected members and our party secretary will inform he is the leader and he enjoys the support of the majority of members. Here we have given our affidavit expressing he has lost the confidence of majority of members, he is no more enjoying, enjoys the confidence of majority of members. So this is the point your honor can call the incumbent chief minister to prove his majority. Yes, I know. I was, I know that procedure. That's the procedure. I know that. Then, uh, otherwise, if you sign the petition, that is not enough. Yeah, yeah. But you have given yes. it. Uh, if you the votes, uh, yeah. and, and, the and there are some more members uh, yeah. who will give the affidavits tomorrow. I two double five. Two double five. Thank you.